Hello and welcome to STEM with Mr N's Robot Review, in partnership with robocube.co.uk, your destination for everything STEM. This week, I'll be introducing you to Sphero Bolt. Let's check it out. Before I begin, there's a competition going on the STEM with Mr N Facebook, Twitter and Instagram pages for you to be able to win 12 Sphero Spec Drums for your school. At the end of this video, head on over to either the Facebook, Twitter or Instagram page to enter and I've put links in the description for all of these pages. The Sphero Bolt is an excellent educational robot which has a lot of different functions and features which you can use in the classroom. It is also quite a versatile robot, despite being just a basic spinning ball. There is a lot that you can actually do with it. The Sphero Bolt comes with a charging stand, so you just need to plug the stand in to a USB cable and sit the Sphero Bolt into that charging stand and it will charge. That means you don't actually need to unplug the robot when you want to use it, you just lift it straight out of the stand. To use the Sphero Bolt, you will need to download the Sphero EDU app, which is available for most Apple and Android devices. Up in the top right hand corner of the app, there's a button to push which allows you to connect to your Sphero through Bluetooth, so if you have any Wi-Fi problems, you can still use the Sphero because it connects to your device with Bluetooth. Once the device is connected, you can then go down into the bottom right corner which gives you the drive function of Sphero. This is just a free range option for you to be able to drive the Sphero around. You can also change its colour. So you'll see here my Sphero is pink, and now it's blue, now it's red, now it's green, and now it's back to pink. You can change the speed of the Sphero if you wish, and you've got that basic circle in the middle for you to control its direction. It can go forward, backwards, left, right, and if you want to move the blue circle in the middle roundabout, it will drive in any direction you want, I'm just not doing that just now because it's sitting on my dining table and I don't want the Sphero to fall off, despite the fact that it is a very sturdy robot. So what else can you actually do with the Sphero Bolt other than drive it around in this function? Well, if you've got more than one Sphero, you can get people to race their Sphero's around a track, across a room, dodging different obstacles. They're really good fun just for a bit of free range play like that. However, if you want to link it into the curriculum, there are lots of different ways you can tie Sphero to other parts of education, and I'm going to look at a few of those in this video. First, I'm going to have a wee look at how we can connect our Sphero Bolt to the maths curriculum. I'm going to draw a square into this grid, and then you'll see at the top there is a play button, and if I push play, my Sphero is now going to draw that square. You can get the Sphero to draw any shape or pattern that you want, you just need to be aware of the space round about you so it's not clattering into things around, although as I've said it is a very sturdy robot. You can also link the Sphero Bolt to the mass curriculum by playing games like 10 pin bowling or curling. Here you'll see I've set up some bowling pins and I'm going to drive my Sphero Bolt into them instead of throwing a bowling ball to knock them down. You can give the pins any point value you want, depending on what it is you want your pupils to be able to learn and do in maths, and also depending on what stage you have. So I'm going to drive my bolt into the bowling pins and see how well I do. You can also code with Sphero using block coding, which is common with most educational robots out there. You can use this block coding to get your Sphero to do all sorts of different things. 
but I'm going to link my Sphero Bolt into the STEM curriculum now, particularly science, looking at planetary motion. I've got an orange ball sitting here, which I'm going to pretend is the sun, and I've set up a wee bit of coding for my Sphero to start orbiting this sun. So now I'm going to push play, and let's see what it looks like. Don't worry if your spheral bolt starts moving across the floor while it is doing its orbit, because the planets in our solar system are also moving along anyway other than just being in their orbit. So you can tie this all directly in to that science curriculum looking at planetary motion. You can also link the spheral bolt into other topics you might be doing by combining it with construction materials such as connects. If you're doing the Romans or the Egyptians for example, you could get pupils to make a chariot using connects and get the spheral bolt to drive it. You can also set engineering challenges for pupils to be able to create vehicles to do certain things, such as drive up different types of ramps across different types of ground. It is up to you what you challenge the pupils to do. Here I've made a basic connects car just to show you that the Sphero can sit inside the frame and simply by using the drive function on this one, I can control this car and move it around inside this room. You could also get pupils to build a bridge that the Sphero needs to drive across because it is quite a heavy robot so there's a bit of an engineering challenge there and the robotics part with actually having to steer the Sphero across the bridge. Well that's all for this week, I hope you enjoyed it. Before I go, just a reminder to check out the STEM with Mr N Facebook, Twitter or Instagram pages for a chance to win 12 Sphero Spectrums for your school. This competition is for schools in the UK only. A huge thank you to robocube.co.uk for continuing to partner with me on these robot review videos. You can subscribe to the channel by pushing the button here. You can check out the other STEM demos that I've done here and my other robot review videos here. This has been STEM with Mr N's Robot Review in partnership with robocube.co.uk.